am Sass Jordan. I was born in Birmingham, England, and my parents moved, me and my brother, who was born in France, to Montreal, Canada, when I was about three years old. And I spent the bulk of my growing up years in that fantastic and wonderful city. My idea of perfect happiness is being able to leave behind the finite mind and to enter the infinite. My greatest fear is angry mobs. The person I most admire today, because it could be different tomorrow, is the 14th century Sufi poet Hafiz. But the reason I admire him is because of his translator, Daniel Ladinsky, who's 21st century, of course. And uh, the reason I admire these people is the astonishing capacity to convey so much wisdom in so few words with such exquisite beauty. The characteristic that I most dislike in myself is self-criticism. The characteristic I most dislike in others is a lack of self-love, caution, or prudence. Boring and limiting. I lie when I don't feel like telling the truth because it's not someone's business. I am probably excessive. I say probably because I don't really know, but I think if I have to answer this question, that I'm excessive about stressing out or worrying about things. I really like where I live, but if I was gonna live somewhere else, I'd like to live somewhere in the South Pacific or, you know, or like maybe New Zealand or pretty much anywhere in the world. The talent I would most like to have it would be extreme comic ability. I'd love to be a comedian. <laughs> Except for usually they're bummed out, aren't they? But whatever. I just, I love to make people laugh. In my opinion, the lowest depth of despair or depths of despair would be malnutrition. I find that all the evils in the world seem to stem from people not being properly nourished, uh, you know, stealing, lying, cheating, um, illness, sickness, uh, having no energy to learn, having no energy to love, to, co to communicate, to share. It all comes from not getting food, proper food that really nourishes you. I don't really have a most treasured possession because possessions are not necessarily things that I treasure. You can always sort of replace it. But I guess if I had to say what my most, I guess it would be my house. The biggest challenge for me is to breathe properly. The historical figure I most identify with is not actually a historical figure, but more of a mythological figure, and that would be Merlin. Uh, my most obvious characteristic is definitely enthusiasm. I I am the most happiest right here, right now. <laughs> I know that reincarnation exists. I don't believe or not believe. I just know it for a fact. The place that I'm at right now is, I don't think it's linear. I don't think it's sequential as we view time. Um, if I was to come back as another person, I would like to be, I would like to come back as Leonardo da Vinci. Can you imagine coming up with all those brilliant ideas? Or William Shakespeare, I could go on, but I won't. I would consider my greatest achievement to be having gotten to a place in my life where I'm able to get a handle on my negative emotional states. I am able to understand that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it is not necessarily a train, that often it is sun. Number one thing on my lifetime to-do list would be to enjoy myself all the time and to uplift and inspire as many other people as I could because I find that really enjoyable. <laughs> if I could have another career besides the one that I have, which I don't know if you could really nail it down to one, <laughs> but I think I would like to be an action movie star like uh, Jackie Chan 
or um, Vin Diesel. I can think of one specific incident in my life that definitely started me on this path, on the path that I'm on now. And that was a moment at the age of about nine or 10, I think it was nine, when my brother and I had just come back from India with my family. And my brother and I discovered that if you turned the dial on the radio, a different sound came out because all we had ever been exposed to our whole lives was classical music. And we turned the dial and all of a sudden, the song, The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down, was playing, and I went, that's it. That's what I want to do. I want to sing. I want to sing like that. I want to sing with music like that. I love that. You know, at the risk of being very cliche, my favorite word would be L-O-V-E. I have two favorite sounds in this world. One of them is the sound of human laughter, and the second one is the sounds of birds singing. <laughs> What I most dislike is the torture of any living being. The things I most like are beautiful smells, funny people, and the sun. My present state of mind is joy mixed with curiosity, mixed with uh, enthusiasm and optimism and giggling that's just being kept underneath. It's just been capped. I don't believe you can live by words. I believe you live by actions more than words. If I had to pick words that I live by, I would hope that I live by the words, all is one.